Hey, everybody. That is Darren Sammy, the former captain of the West Indies World Cup team. I am Chris Rose. I've never played cricket in my life, but I love it out here. So here we go with game number three. We've got Pinstripe Strong, and they are taking on We Got Ice. I know you haven't seen Pinstripe Strong before, but just a little history for you. They hadn't won a freaking game. I'm not talking about a tournament. I'm talking about a game, Darren Sammy, before the last tournament. We got ice. They lost their first game of the regular season. They had a lead against Team Baggage. They got walked off at the end. Now they're trying to win so that they don't get an 0-2 regular season here. For more, let's send it down court side, cement side, whatever side. Kelsey Winger, take it away. Obis, you will flip. You will call it, Dilla. He called heads, and it is tails. Okay, Obis, what do you? We're gonna chase. We're ch so is that official term? Trevor didn't make that up earlier. Yeah, yeah. it's a good cricket term. I like that. Good. Shake hands one more time for me, please, and return to your teams booth. Thank you so much, guys. Time to play ball. All right, so they're gonna chase. I don't know. You were laughing when Trevor said it in the uh, Forgotten Rotten match. So apparently that's that's what. Why, why are you smirking? <laughs> Well, I mean, if you say you're going to chase and you restrict the team for 13 in the first innings, you stand a good chance yeah. of chasing very well. Okay. <laughs> All right, so really a must win for We Got Ice if they don't want to be one of those lower, lower, lower level seeds. Pinstripe strong, and they're going to start with Lou Dab as the striker against Jack Doyle. Justin Dill. Some people call him Dilly. He'll be playing for the Washington Freedom of Major League Cricket. We are underway, and that ball is up. It hit the strike zone, so it's a dot ball after the swing. Yep, that's correct. That's a very good start. By the way, there is no wicket keeper. That means the pinstripe strong is on the DraftKings power play, so there will be nobody manning the strike zone in that circle. That ball smashed up the middle, and it is a four-run boundary ball. That was a savage hit. Right back past the bowler. Will he respond? And Paul's oh. hammered a six run boundary for Lou Dev. Lou, of course, a longtime friend of the legendary Joe's McFly. I'll give you one guess what Lou Dev does for a living. Don't read it. <laughs> I didn't see. Now, oh, <laughs> other than smashes the shit out of a ball. <laughs> At the moment, he's eating bungees for a living. What does he do? He's a postal carrier. He's a mailman. Ooh, he's a mailman. Yeah. Okay. So it's Plenty his, deliveries. He's delivering today. It's, so far. It's his fault that uh, Jake's uh, wedding invitation to you never showed up on time. <laughs> another shot and another four-run boundary ball. This guy's on fire to start yeah. this game. He's the delivery man. <laughs> That's right, and he's delivering so far. Jack on the pressure. That ball's hammered. <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? Lou Dab with another four-run boundary. Man, he had a good lunch. Wow. Wow. What a perfect over for this squad. And Kelsey's going to check in with the mailman. Lou, I believe you just put up 22 runs in your first time at the plate. How locked in are you feeling offensively right now? I'm feeling great. I'm kind of um, heartbroken it took me i got to come here, but I wanted to keep hitting, but my team is going to deliver here. So we got Isis down 22 zip after the first over, and now Obis Pinar is going to be the lefty bowler for We Got Ice, and we'll get our first look at Justin Dill at the dish. Yeah, Pinar is averaging three runs per ball huh, so far. Almost a boundary a ball. He's been expensive in the first game, and he's under pressure now. That ball's hammered, oh! and that is a six-run boundary for Dilly. Pina continues to be expensive. Another six. Wow. Pinstripe Strong is on fire right now. That ball hammered up the middle, and <laughs> a four-run boundary ball as it trickled through. Let's give that one another look. Man, oh, man. Oh, I thought, oh, oh, gosh. Well, thank God they didn't dive into each other. Oh, yeah. that would have been ugly. But, oh, these, these guys are dealing in all bungees. 
fours, sixes, you name it. And Pina again is under pressure. Oh, uh, ball tapped, and it, 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 oh, they didn't go anywhere. They didn't go anywhere. So no runs. That was a dot ball. It was a dot ball. Much needed dot ball. Yeah. So we got ice. That ball hammered up the middle, another four-run boundary. Yes. Ooh, I love this batting unit. Wow, pinstripe strong, coming out strong. Now, Rose, something to watch is Joe's McFly's celebration dance. It's definitely interesting and something worth, uh, worth noting. And that's another dot ball. Nothing to celebrate on that swing. One more good pitch left in this over. That ball's hammered, another six-run boundary ball by oh Gilly Willie. Pina is getting a bit in here at the warehouse. Wow. Pinstripe Strong has dropped 42 runs in their first two overs. Paxton hustling to find out how we got ice is doing. Second innings, we can always go back to, but let's, let's just, yeah, who wants to have a go? It doesn't seem like anyone wants to actually have a go, but who knows? All right, uh, they're going to go with their third different bowler. Atif Nawaz is now getting his shot. Maybe he has a free few tricks. He is a cricket team. commentator for the BBC and Gosh. a comedian. And oh, no joke. It's another four run boundary ball as Jack couldn't come up with it. Oh. Man, oh, man. Scottish. Lou Dab swinging at that one. And uh, Zoe saying that that should be a wicket and an out because Lou Dab's bat was not grounded behind the crease, but instead it'll just be a dot ball. So Zoe just relayed to Lou, I got to try. Yes. <laughs> There's another hammer shot. Oh, they're running, they're running, they're running, and they just get one run. That's like a breather for We Got Ice. We Ice would be happy with that. 47 runs. Mm. That's a wide. That's a wide, another wide ball. Atif just missing his mark. That strike zone area. That ball Ooh. tipped and another dot ball. Dot ball. So that's good for We Got Ice, who's been stunned here in the early going. Yeah, it's a pretty decent over so far. That ball hit what literally a hammered <laughs> right off of Atif. It cost him a run, but kick saving a beauty. Let's take another look oh. at that one. Let's have a look. Uh, he was just in the way. That had nothing to do with his reflexes. The ball hit him. Come on, can't you just give him a little credit? No. I mean, come on, dude. He was just standing here. He wasn't doing anything. Oh, man, you just raised it a full octave on me, too. All right, so here we go. One more good pitch coming your way in this over and this inning. There's a ball smashed. Oh, and good stop. They're going to run again. They're going to keep running. They're going to keep running, and they do. There's no harm in just keep running at that point. Make them make a play. So two more runs on the board, a 51 spot. Wow, the largest we have seen so far this season, I do believe. We Got Ice has some serious mountain to climb as they are down 51. For more on that, let's send it down to Kelsey. You guys already have 51 on the board. What was y'all's offensive strategy in those first overs? I think, like I said before, we just try to be positive and try and, like I said, hit bombs. So. We came out swinging and it came off. It was a great start. We just can't be gone place and there's still, still a lot more balls to come. So we just got to take a ball for ball. It seems like you're liking being on the underdog team in this tournament. Is that true? Yes, I do. I do like playing the underdog. It's just go under the radar, no pressure, and you can just we can enjoy ourselves. And we've got some great hitters in here, so we'll, we'll be fine. And one more before I let you go. What's on Lou's socks? Do you, can you he figure? mentioned is Rugrats. It is, uh, I think, Doro Sun's favorite show. So uh, I love the sock game. I'm not, I must wrap it up. Tomorrow I'll, I'll, I'll sip it up.
Rugrats, pinstripe bombs. Della's in it, you guys. 51 points in the first couple of overs. The fun doesn't stop in the warehouse. DraftKings Sportsbook is sponsoring this video, and they're offering new customers $150 in bonus bets instantly when you sign up now using promo code warehouse. That's promo code warehouse. Yep, that's right. New customers bet just $5 on any wager and receive $150 in bonus bets instantly. They've got you covered, and it's it's fun. It's really fun. It's just like playing ball and play league games. Comment who is going to hit the ground next. All right, so here we go to the bottom of the first, and if you're up for the first time and you're looking that you're down 51 nothing, how you feeling, Darren Sammy? Hi, I'm feeling down, but that's cricket. You here to compete. We saw one team pull it through. These guys got to believe that they could do it. Again, they will need at least two boundaries. Sixes over. per over. All right. At least two sixes per over. Well, they will start off on the DraftKings power play. There will be no wicket keeper for Pinstripe Strong. And they're going to start off with Shelfie on the mound. 185,000 YouTube subscribers in his little baseball world. Ball hammered out of the gate and... That's a good stop. Yeah, limited to one run there. Good play by Justin Dill as Obis does get We Got Ice on the board. So now Zoe stepping in. That ball hammered up the middle, stopped nicely. Uh oh ball got thrown away, that's active. We're gonna keep running, more madness. Three runs nice. for We Got Ice. Oh. oh man, pinstripe strong, you had the ball in your hand, just, just call it a day. It. That's it. Yeah, you Limit him to one run. Maybe they're thinking I got 51 on the board. Yeah. I got some runs to play with. You know that could end in a hurry. Yep. Oh, but that's not fouled away. That's active. They're going to keep going. Another two runs. This time they hold it. Yeah. Those little hits aren't going to do any damage. No, it's not going to do any damage. No. You need fours and sixes, preferably yeah. sixes. Opus Pinar going to play for the Washington Freedom in Major League Cricket. Don't worry, there's no box in this sport. Are there? You probably have no idea what a box is. No. No. It oh! oh the the first one on the deck! The Wicked Dance is back! That is a big, big deal. Oh my goodness, the very first one of the day. Kels. Straight in the bullseye. It's the Kelsey and Shelfie show. It's the Kelsey and Shelfie show is correct. The first magic hole of the tournament we've seen so far. Was the strategy more lobbing it in there? Do you have some VLO behind it? How did you make that happen? Uh, that was a BP pitch, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, we scored so much in the top that we're just trying to limit the home run. So I was just floating it in there. Sometimes you need a little luck. Hey, normally a BP pitch is sent up to the booth, yeah. but you got it in the magic hole. We got a little magic going right now. So. Magic. Congratulations, guys. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Darren, I'm going to save everybody in the comment. Pe people, stop your comment writing right now. Everybody, just stop it. I know what you're thinking. Stop it. <laughs> As the dad of John Boy Media, we are not going to permit that. <laughs> it's now the magic hole for the remainder of the tournament. But it, that's just it. I am very sorry. I thought it was the magic hole. Is it the magic? And then we're down here discussing what that can also mean. So, All right, here we go. We continue on. <laughs> Shelfie, after finding the magic hole and knocking out Obus. Jack Doyle with a smash at the gate and a four-run <laughs> boundary ball. Woo! Here we go, everybody. Oh, my God. All right, Jack Doyle, let's see what you got. That ball's knocked down by McFly, just one run, and an excellent over by Shelfie, who I believe, did he throw any bad balls that no, time? he did not. No, I don't think he did. So, so he that, has the golden. He's the golden bowler, which yes. means that Pinstripe Strong has the option of keeping him in as the second or third bowler this inning. Now, that's where strategy, I would leave him for the third over. The third one, why? Yes, because he's bowling to the same batter he bowled the first over who's gotten a... A little a, bit of a, a look at him, yes, kind of a, a look scouting at him, report. Yes. Okay. All right, well, you know what? They're going against your thoughts. They're, they're going to stick with Shelfie, it looks Ooh, like. Okay. All right, so we'll see if the strategy pays off or backfires. 
Here we go. Pinstripe Strong nursing a 40-run lead. They now have a wicket keeper as the DraftKings power play is over. Speaking of power, there's your six run over. I, it's like you've played this game before, Darren Sammy. I'm telling you, you don't, you gotta use all the advantage you can to yourself. This could be very costly. Oh, oh there's a dot ball. That's, a, that's like the perfect pitch right that's there. That's the perfect one. Yeah. Unless you go into the magic hole. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, there's a bad ball. Oh, you think, oh, no, we have a run out. Lou Dab. A little dab will do you. Why not as we take another look at that one? What do you got? It certainly looks like Lou. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. that's. So, so which one of those guys, Jack or Zoe, is out? Oh, Jack's out. He's the closest one to it. So the closest one, Jack's out. OK, that's referee Jack, Nate who obviously uh, forgot his shoes today, so he's wearing flip-flops. Also, while I have you umpire, Nate, what do you call the hole in that? Magic circle, of course. It's the magic circle. I just wanted y'all to know that I didn't make up the magic thing. I called it the magic hole. The, the magic hole works, too. Mm. Yeah. Always works. You almost made Nate pass out when you called it the magic hole. I got to be honest with you there, Kels. <laughs> Boy, I'm a riot. Yeah, he, he, about, he about tipped over. All right, so Jack Doyle is going to join his teammate, Obis Pinar, over on the bench. They are spectators. There's now two wickets. Shelfie's still on the mound. Has been outstanding so far. That ball popped in the air. They're going to run. Oh, did they get a third wicket? He's not out. No? Not out? He got in comfortably. Oh, uh, umpire Nate wants a replay, so let's give it a look. Oh, he's in. So Zoe just got his bat past the crease before Lou Dab recorded a wicket. Boy, that was a gutsy Close. move by We Got Ice. Yeah. They can't afford another run out. The inning would be over. That ball smashed. Good play by Lou Dab. Holds him to just one run. This is the sort of math that Pinstripe Strong's going to love. Tiff Nawaz. Oh, a little backwards hit. Oh, mm. did they get it in time? That's Lou Dab is saying yes. That's going to uh, be very referee, close. Yeah, referee Nate says, let's check it out. And Ooh. wow. Darren Sammy, what do you think? Zoe's bat at the crease before the ball gets in the magic hole. Yes. <laughs> That's very tight. There's I can't decide. There to change my mind. I've already decided that. Soft safe. There's not enough there. Not there is not conclusive evidence to overturn the call on the field. Clear and conclusive. So the inning continues. So we got ice down 30. Yep. One more good pitch left in this over. That ball okay, knocked in and there goes one run. Oh man. So now we move on to the third and final over. And it looks like Lou Dab is going to be the bowler this time. And then chance to start the next inning. Yeah, so, I, so I'd say play pretty safe, play for boundaries. Yeah. Keep taking, as we have been. They're going to play for boundaries, so I, that feels pretty textbook, right? They don't have a choice. They cannot run themselves out of another inning. So here we go, Lou Dab. A bowler for the first time in his cricket life. Squaring off against Zoe. That ball is in play. Oh, they're going to run again. Two more runs on the board for We Got Ice. I think it hit the, the zone, so it counts as, as a dot ball. Ooh, that's a tough call. That's a dot ball, that's a dot ball. That's a, zone. Okay, that. good call. So no runs on the board. Uh oh, yeah, the Nestor Cortez. Oh, wow! wow. Says I got your nasty Nestor right here, pal. <laughs> a nice six run boundary ball for Zoe. Right on cue. 
We got ice needed this. They need a few more. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what happened here? Whoa! Oh, my goodness. Now, what happened? That's oh. over for us that went for four. But didn't it hit him? So if it hits him, it's supposed to be a dead ball. You cannot run if it hits you. One run only because it's a dead ball. Oh, they got away with murder there. Nate, tell us what just happened. So in our, in our game, if it hits the batter, it's dead. The play's dead, kind of like baseball. In cricket, it can hit the batter. But in this game, we're just making it dead so that there's no funny business with people whacking it out of the air with their hands or something like that. So yeah, it's a dead ball, it's a dot. No, sorry, it's a wide. So one run goes to the batting team and we redo it just like it's a wide if it doesn't hit the batter. Yes. So here we go. Four more good pitches remaining for Lou Dab. We got ice. On 29. Okay, they're making progress. Oh, the old tippy toes. That ball popped in the air. And a oh, third so. wide. That will do it for the frame. They've been pulled out. Pinstripe strong with a 22 run lead as we now head to the second inning. What's going on guys? AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. Everybody on Love just takes it. I love it. It's one of my favorite things to take in the morning. It helps me get energized and it gives me that whole vitamin C, zinc, functional mushrooms and much more to support my overall immune health. I love it. It's so good. Mm. Head to drinkag1.com slash warehouse games in the description below to get a free one year supply of AG vitamin D3 plus K2 plus five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. I took the travel packs with me on a, when we were playing ball and play in the hotel. I drank them every morning. It was great. All right, so Pinstripe Strong with a 22-run lead as we now head to the second inning. Once again, they will start on the DraftKings power play, which means no wicket keeper for We Got Ice. Joe's McFly gets a chance to step into the striker role for the first time. Shelfie. His batting partner. There's a smash. It's just going to be one run. Oh, they had a chance to get a wicket, but... Oh boy, <laughs> miscommunication by We Shelfie Got Ice. Thought he thought he a boundary. He didn't want to run. <laughs> uh, that's in a dog ball, and almost a wicket. So no run scored on that. There's a smash and a four run boundary ball for Joe's McFly. Oh, look at his celebration, what's he doing? They need to restrict them. What? Yeah, they need to hold him to what, like 15 or so? Yes. All right. To, to have a realistic chance of winning. That ball smash and another four-run boundary the ball. Watch the celebration. He's enjoying every bit of it, Shelfie. Yeah, what's McFly doing there? Well, we'll keep an eye on him. That ball hammered, knocked down nicely. Oh, they didn't even go anywhere. No, they just want to hit boundaries. They're not running. Wow. So that's a dot ball. Interesting. Two more good pitches left in this over. That ball hit in the air and caught. And he's out. The wicket, <laughs> the wicket dance is back for We Got Ice. They needed that. All right, so that means Joes will have to have a seat. Lou Dab is back in. That's not necessarily a great trade for no, We Got Ice, by no, the way. Lou Dab has hit more boundaries than anyone else on his only fist. He's only batted in one inning. Only one more good pitch left in this over for Jack Doyle against Lou Dab. That ball popped in the air. They're going to run. A lot of traffic. And... That'll do it for that over. So the DraftKings power play is now history as well. Now Jack Doyle, he was a golden bowler that round, right? There were no he, bad balls. No bad balls, so he could bowl again. But I, again, I would not let him bowl 12 balls in a row. 
facing a 31 run deficit right now. Kelsey, uh, get on in there. What do we got? What's the strategy that we just came up with in this group? Well, we've thought about two things. We're thinking about taking the pace off the, the ball because obviously they're very, very good at hitting it out of the middle, but also protecting the boundary for the, the faster bowlers because the ball comes off it so quickly as well. But I think between us, we've got a quite a coherent strategy. So we're hoping to just pull them back. If we can keep them under 75, I think we feel confident we can chase them. You explain it so well, almost like you're a cricket commentator or something. Wow. Yeah, but there were no jokes, so he just lost his comedy card. It's all card. serious in the warehouse. Yeah. No fun's had here. Yep. All right, so Atif is now going to be the wicket keeper. And, I mean, I assume that Jack Doyle will, will remain as the bowler. There's a ball hit off the wall, and it's going to fall. Only one run. Just one, just one. Okay. We got ice, will take that. They will, but the most of, I think they want more. If they don't get, uh, if they restrict them for singles, it would work, but they want to bowl them out quickly. Shelfie! Oh, yeah! <laughs> A six run boundary ball for Shelfie! Man, I almost thought it was coming. Well, he went top Shelfie. Yeah, you? top Shelfie. That ball smashed up the middle, a four-run boundary. And he dropped the bat. <laughs> yeah, he, Shelfie's, he, he's figured out the hitting part and the pitching part, or the bowling part, I should say. And there's another smash, but oh, it gets knocked down. Whoa, Jack Doyle throwing angry. And what do we do? This is complete madness. What the hell just happened? I have no idea. Oh. He nearly cost his team some overthrows. All right, seriously, what what happened there? I believe that's a typical we got ice goof and gap, and a lot of throwing, and a lot of running, and a lot of sliding, and Jack Doyle's mouth was open the entire time. <laughs> so there were no runs scored no on run that, scored. right? No runs scored oh after goodness. all that action. That was crazy. Once again, in this sport, it's not like baseball. You don't, you're not forced to run in certain situations. That's a bad ball. That'll cost we got ice a run. And it means that, oh, he's bowling the golden over anyway, yeah. so doesn't have to bowl again. There's the ball smashed. A four-run boundary ball. Boy, Shelfie's got it going today, huh? Sure does. I got to be honest with you. Shelfie looks a little bit like my gardener right now, but the dude can swing it a little bit. Uh, that's nothing. That's a dot ball. And a nice job. The over is over. So Pinstripe Strong increases their lead. And Paxton checking in on the team that is facing a monumental deficit. We're absolutely winning this game if we can keep them to 85. So the goal is just miss hits, miss hits, miss hits, I think. Uh, and the, the running has been very haphazard, so I feel like we've got some options there to pull run out. Well, they looked at the scoreboard and they said it's 76, so we're not <laughs> going to hold them to 75. So the good news is they're, they might not be math majors, but they figured out that portion of the program. Huh? All right, here we go. Lou Dab, the striker. All right, tell me if I do it. We'll Atif Nawaz, the stand-up comedian, cricket announcer for the BBC, the bowler. Oh, there's a bad ball. Oh, there's, there's no wicket keeper, so they're going to run as well. So that's two additional runs. Ooh, that hurts. And there's not a pitch. It's not a pitch. You got to re-ball it. Oh. Oh, they've, they've, they're asking too much in the fourth inning. There's another. Oh, okay. Well, he got saved by the bouncy strike zone. Now you can't change bowlers, can you? Once you start, you got to finish, you, right? Unless you get injured. Oh, he should fake an injury right now. <laughs> that ball's hammered, and it is a four-run boundary ball. Just missed a six-run shot. Is that the highest total of the day? <laughs> they just got to the highest total of the day. 83 runs for Pinstripe Strong. There's another one. And oh, because no wicket keeper, they're going to tack on an additional run. So now there's that magic number of 85. Gulp, what do you think? It's over. The game's over? The game's Don't over. say that. I'm telling you, Darren it's over. Sammy. It's over. You can't say that. Yeah. Okay, maybe now it's over. <laughs> Damn. Lou Dab. 
Little four run boundary ball. Hey, I want to see him get to the century mark. Okay, oh! they might get their shot. Lou Dam is no joke. That must be half, half a century for him. That is a six run boundary ball. Lou Dab is just partaking in uh, batting practice, it's, essentially. Yep. Yeah. There's another <laughs> smash, and a four-run boundary ball gets them on the cusp of Century Club. Yeah, he's on 45. He is? He's scored 45 runs so far, so he could bring up the 100 on his half-century. Another oh! smash, a little extra postage from the mailman. Bring it home, that man. Lou Dobbs, the man. There's one more good pitch left. What the hell, what do you say we go for another six runs? He's shot? on 49. Can he get to 50? Oh. <laughs> he has no interest of running. Jumpy's like, too tired to run. I ain't going anywhere. That ball's oh! hammered. That's six, and that's 55 runs. Are you the two kidding innings me? for Lou Dab. Lou Dab, he's number four <laughs> in your program. He's 55 when it comes to dropping bombs. Oh, we got Isis chasing 81. And Kelsey is trying to chase down Joe's McFly. Joe's, I was just talking to Dilla a couple minutes ago. He said that he really embraced potentially being on the team that's seen as the underdog. You guys have put up the most runs we've seen in this tournament all day. What is allowing you guys to see the ball as well as you are? We can hit. Like, that's, Pinstripe Strong is about hitting. So we can hit. So it's, we're good. I, we said this pregame. Pinstripe bombs. Pinstripe bombs. Are you too busy watching all this warehouse games content to cook for yourself? But you want to eat clean and feel good? Factor has got you covered. Fresh, never frozen. They're ready in just two minutes. Pop them in the microwave, heat them up, and enjoy. You can choose from over 34 chef prepared, dietitian approved weekly options featuring premium ingredients such as broccolini, leeks, truffle, butter, and asparagus. I'm about to eat mine. It's beef. Pablamo and beef. Well, go to factor75.com. Click the link in the description below and use code warehouse50 to get 50% off your first order from Factor. Once again, that's code warehouse50 at factor75.com. Get you 50% off your first Factor box. This one's Pablano beef. It's good. So if you want to just simply do the math, there's 18 good pitches left. We got Ice has to average four and a half runs per good pitch. They need to score 27 runs Stop every it. Stop it. over. I am not going to take your negativity, okay? Is this the way you talk to your team in the West Indies when you no, were the captain? No, no, Would you have said, no. oh, screw it, guys, go home. I we don't say, have a come shot. on, guys, we could do it. Yeah. Just believe. And then would you do it with your fingers crossed behind your back? <laughs> on my legs. On my legs as well. All right, here we go. Okay. So we got Jack Doyle Gosh. hit one. Oh, it falls. And they do not let it get all the way to the wall. So Obis Pinar is now going to face Justin Dill. Justin Dill is the bowler. Dilla or Dilly. There's a ball that's in play. They got to keep running. They got to, they got to keep running. And Pinstripe Strong, they're not going to make any weird throws. They're just going to pick up the ball and go on to the next good pitch. So now let's see if Obis. There's a ball hammered, and it is a six-run boundary ball. There we you go. Plenty more of these. Okay. We got ice, just got melted. There's a ball up the middle. Nice play by Lou Dab, and nothing scores. That's a dot ball and a huge play by Lou's doing it on both sides. That ball hammered up the middle, and four a four-run boundary ball. How close do you think they get today? They're, they're down, they, they're chasing 68. I think they get within 30. I think they're gonna put some numbers together here. I think they lose by 40. 
You're laughing at them. Do not laugh at them. They're good people. <laughs> They're going to lose by 40. Last good pitch. And just one run. Nice job by Lou Dab. Excellent work. So now chasing in 67. That's almost a six a ball. Okay. I believe. I believe. Yeah, you believe. I'm not turning this off till it's I over. I also believe they cannot win. There's a smash and just a single run. Okay, now 11 legal balls left. They need 11 sixes. All right, or, or some bad balls thrown mm. in there. I'm telling you, they might even lose by 50. <laughs> you know what? Jack Doyle's going to hit a six run, and then I'm going to get in your face. I'm going to say, ha ha, see you, Lou Dab. What is this? That ball smashed! Look. And just one run. It would have. It would have if that ceiling hadn't gotten in the way. It's been there for more morning. <laughs> All right, Obis. That Catch! ball. Oh, look at the spin on it. Okay, just one run. These single runs are not going to do it. Tell you, win by 50. Biggest margin of the day. Well, we've had two close games. So, oh, look at Jack Doyle. Look at this stance. Uh, he needs everything to help him. A few bad pitches. Yep. And six like a few every hundred. Ball. That ball smashed. That's a four-run boundary. I'm going to laugh at you when they get under 50 <laughs> or 40. They're getting there. They're going to get there. No. Yeah. They don't have any wickets yet. That ball smashed. That is a four-run four run boundary. Now the deficit is just, they're just chasing 56. <laughs> How many balls left? I think S there's seven good balls seven left. Seven good balls left. So we need one. As long as they start, just keep throwing strikes, it just doesn't matter. But that's. That ball smashed. Four more. Okay. You know what? If you're weak out ice, if you lose both games of the regular season, we'll see in the playoffs. They just need to build a little confidence here. Mm. You're not buying that. No. Jeez, man. No, they've, they've not shown they have the strategy. So we move on to the last over. Shelfie is uh, going to be the bowler. They're going to put Lou Dab as the wicket keeper. Still Obis Pinar and Jack Doyle. The strikers, oh, there's a dot ball. That Almost a close to the magic circle. The magic hole? Yeah. Oh, oh he almost hit it. If he hits it in the magic hole, that's a uh, wicket that's too, a right? That's a wicket, that's an out. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is tough. That is three straight dot balls. My 50 might be good. It might be, actually. <laughs> In the hole. That ball smashed. Oh. And a four run boundary ball. So there's your 50. Let's see if you can keep your 40 run prediction alive. Whoa. What's it doing? Well, hold on. That's a bad so, ball. Yes, that's a bad hey. ball. There's no harm. Should he not have swung at that one? No. That's a bad ball. Are they going to keep going? Keep going. Why not? Knock off a couple runs. It's a dead ball now. It's behind the fence. We have a wicket keeper. That's a gatekeeper back there. So that's two runs. That ball smashed. Nice play. Wow. Joe's McFly. Way to move that body, my man. Win by 40, I told you. There's a ball Catch. popped up. Oh! <laughs> what teamwork! Get up. What a play. And that is a fantastic way to finish. Pinstripe strong. 109-66, your final in a tournament that has had a bunch of nail biters. 
we finally get our first lapper. 